Principles of Success, Interviewing the Experts, book review number something. And this book is The Energy Bus by John Gordon. And it's written in analogy form. So if you like stories, that's good. But don't be confused. This is a book on positivity, not on having more energy, which I found out when I read this book, because originally, when I first read this book, I was studying energy and how to have more energy, but I found this little gem instead. And there's 10 rules for the bus. The first rule is you're the driver of the bus. Basically, you're in charge of your life, you're in charge of your emotions, you're in charge of how the people around you and how you deal with those people. The, oh, and also this is for yourself, for work, and for if you're leading a team. That's the idea behind this book. The second rule is having a desire, a vision, and focusing on where you're going. So basically have goals and communicate those goals to others if you're leading. The third rule is fuel your ride with positive energy. Be happy. Nobody wants to ride with a grumpy driver. You got to make sure that as you strive to be moving along on your bus, that you're enjoying the ride. You just don't focus only on the destination, enjoy the ride. Number four is invite people onto your bus. Don't just do it alone. Try and get people to join you, buy into your vision, accompany you. It's pretty lonely when you don't have any people to live your life with. So invite people onto your bus. The fifth rule is don't waste your energy on the people who don't want to get onto your bus. If somebody is not wanting to be more positive, wanting to achieve success, to enjoy their life and become more successful, then don't sweat it. Just find somebody who does want to come on your nice little bus ride. The sixth rule is no energy vampires are allowed. So this is related to the fifth rule, and it's if somebody is doubting you, is dragging you down, is negative, is drama, cut them. Don't let them affect you. Now, sometimes it's family, sometimes it's more difficult than just that. And he'll go into more depth on how to do that in those situations if you read the book. Number seven is, is enthusiasm attracts and energizes passengers. So basically, Emotions are contagious, and when you're excited, when you're full of drive and vision, the people who have bought into your vision will get excited and driven as well. So keep that upbeat energy, keep working on your goals, and the people riding along will get more and more excited, just like you're getting more excited. Eight is love your, dr lo love your passengers. And essentially what that is talking about is if you don't care for the people that you have in your circle in life and you have working with you and striving to, to move along these goals, then you're not going to be able to have as much of an impact on them. And it's extremely important to care about those who you're trying to help. Nine is drive with purpose. Don't just wander around and actually try and accomplish something. When you have purpose, you enjoy life so much more. It Purpose is the fuel that drives the bus and it helps prevent boredom. So when you have a purpose, you're not quite as easily bored in the mundane tasks that you have to do every day because a lot of what you do is going to be boring. But when you know that there's a reason behind what you're doing, it becomes that much better, I guess. And rule number 10 is to have fun. If you don't enjoy life, I already mentioned it before, but if you don't enjoy life, then what's the point of your goals? What's the point of doing anything? If you're miserable, maybe you need to reevaluate what you're doing. Because if you're miserable and you're not enjoying the ride, then what's the point? The whole point is to be happy. So with those are the 10 rules for the energy bus, and I hope that you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next week.